Hey guys, Carolina Vanetti here with Red Carpet Report, and today I'm on set interviewing the cast of The Fosters. Hi Terry, how are you doing today? I'm fantastic, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. Oh, it's a very squeaky chair. <laughs> Your character is uh, going through a lot this season. Um, are you ever going to get to take a vacation? <laughs> <laughs> I think the more important question is Terry Polo ever going to get to take a vacation? Um, no, no vacation, no vacation in the works. There's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of kids to be wrangling. There's a lot of relationship stuff to be working out. Um, I kind of look at it as every night that she goes to bed with Lena is a nice little vacation. So, Aw, that's you know. really sweet. There may be troubles, but you always get to go to bed with the one you love. Yeah, Steph's had a lot on her plate with the accident, trying to track down who mm. caused it. Yeah. And then you have your ceiling caving in. You have <laughs> the kids going through all this stuff. And now you have AJ coming to join you as well. Mm -hmm. How is that going to play out for Steph and Lena? Um, you know, we, we, we seem to have quite a, a plethora of, of ins and outs in our house. Of course, that's of our own doing. We make our own stupid choices, don't we? Um, but it's, uh, you know, it adds, it adds a new dynamic and adds a new um, challenge for, for Mike's character, especially. Mm -hmm. um, it adds uh, e some stress between Steph and Lena. It adds a little tension for Callie. Um, there's, you know, as usual, the, the kids are going through their, their they're growing and, and, and becoming who they are and figuring out and stretching and, 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 and pushing the envelope. Um, and Steph and Lena are just so, uh, they, they want so much to take care of everything and everyone. You know, it's mm -hmm. just the people that they are. And it, it takes, it's taking a toll on their relationship. You know, we've had a lot of naysayers and we've had a lot of people be very negative about that storyline. And we stand behind it firm as all can be because that's reality. Just as we're trying to portray reality in regards to the LGBT community and foster care, et cetera, we want to portray reality as far as relationships are concerned. And you go through tough times. Not everything is a fantasy. Not everything is a, a, a fairy tale, I should say. Not everything is, is you know, butterflies and, and, and zebras. So it's, uh, um, that's from a song, Little Wing, Butterflies and Zebras. <laughs> I love that. Anyway. Um, but it must be great for you as an actor to have so much material to work it because going into your third season now, um, it could be easy to fall into the trap of like, oh, well, this is so her. And But keeping obstacles always there, does that help keep it fresh for you as well? Absolutely. The storylines are, again, the storylines are still coming from our writer-producers' lives. Mm -hmm. And there's a plethora of those as well. Um, and it's... It's, it's just, it's important to continue with the reality of these storylines and, and it's, um, yeah, you know, season threes are always challenges, I think, for television shows. Um, you know, the first season is, is new and exciting and groundbreaking and, and mm -hmm. I if you're able to get that type of title, God willing, from the critics, um, the second season you're still you know trying to maintain and 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 live up to if you will mm -hmm. third season you know i've seen a lot of shows where they people come in and, and phone it in and walk away be, and with their paycheck you know um we're still striving to do you know we're still coming as sherry and i were just brainstorming in the hair and makeup trailer this morning of, of what can we do me, social media wise to you know cause a stir and to and to get more viewers and to um you know put out our own publicity and 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 there's, there's the collaborative effort on set. We have family meetings at lunchtime to say, you know, okay, this is working for me, this isn't, how can we do this better? We'd like to, we'd like to know this, or we want you to understand that. So we're, mm -hmm. we're always trying to um, make things better. So I don't think we're gonna run into that danger too terribly much. It's a really good season. There's, there's it a is lot really going good. on, yeah. It's our, you're two episodes in right now, and there's already so much on the table. You've got, yeah, for you know, everybody, Idle every Wild, character. AJ, mm -hmm. the dad's coming into play, and now I hear that a long lost brother is also coming into play in yeah. next week's episode. We, um, we touched on um, uh, Lena's brother in the Christmas episode, and it was just a very brief kind of thing, but this gets hardcore, this is very serious, and mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a big journey for Lena, it's a big journey for her family, and it's, um, 
It's uh, is Steph also going to be really involved with Lena in this though? Since it's no, so Steph takes. It's not that she takes a back seat. She knows to be there for her wife. She knows that this is a journey that that she needs to take. She's there, mm -hmm. to kind of behind there, and to hold her hand if she needs to, um, and be there for a shoulder to give advice if asked. But she she kind of steps back and allows Lena to do what she needs to do in order to be okay. Awesome. Um, one last question. Mm -hmm. Any advice you would give to aspiring actors who maybe are in foster care that would like to get into acting? Mm. I would say, yeah. you know, there's a reason that cliches are cliches because they're absolutely true and you run into them every day. To say, follow your dreams and to never give up. Um, I personally think, and this is strange coming from an actor, I personally think there are far, on this show we are reaching a lot of people, which is wonderful. I think there are far more important jobs out there, far more important jobs that reach more people that teach love, teachers for instance, mm -hmm. and being a mom or a dad, full time is the hardest job that has ever been created on this earth. Children and babies are the future of this world and I think that being involved with them is paramount to being an entertainer because shows like this are very few and far between where you teach and you represent so much of entertainment out there is aliens and shoot 'em up bang bangs and violence and irreverent type of subject matters. Okay. So I think um, if you want to become an actor, follow your dreams. But I would highly recommend getting involved in, in teaching and something that that makes a difference. Makes makes a big difference with our kids. I love that. Thank you so much for Indeed. your time today. My pleasure. Hey guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and leave me a comment below today letting me know who your favorite character is on The Fosters.